Yo, what's up everyone? It's Sion the producer here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing how I use Autotune on our workflow. Right now, let's add some keys. We've been blessed with a lot of great sounds in GarageBand with the last two packs, with the keyboard pack and also with the drum kits that was recently added. So that was a double track whirly, great sound bank. Anyways, I'm going to add a drum kit first because I want to get a groove going on. All right, so that's a MIDI loop I found from Cubasis. I imported it into GarageBand. I'll cover it another time. Anyways, I want to customize it, make this drum bit a little bit more to the style I'm working on. Let's find a different kit. We're going to go through a few of my favorite drum kits on GarageBand. Sunset's a really awesome kit. Yep, yep, yep. Let's slow it down because I want to change the style to be a bit more to my All right, we're gonna go through a few more kits. Above and beyond, let's go, let's go. All right, let's find out how that drum kit on this. Daka, shout out to Gobi G Major for this kit. It reminded me that this was so awesome. Everyone needs a little bit of lo-fi sometimes. But Vintage Beats is one of the ones I really like for those old school gritty sounds. I think I'm gonna work with this one because I love the aggressive nature of it. Hmm. All right, let's add the MIDI loop. This was a for one song I made a while back. You are the one. I said too much, you know the words in my heart. All right, we're gonna add a different loop that I'm working on on my current song. It's called Fader Control. Let's increment it. You and I, you and I, and I'll follow you And I will be, be right there for you While I do have some ideas of the song, I kind of want to experiment with auto-tune on this song So we're going to do a bit more test in this For auto-tune in this case, I'm going to make use of an uh, application known as Voloco It's a free app and it allows me to do a lot of things Anyways, let's get to it So what I want to do is use auto-tune in this application. Now, GradMan has a standard auto-tune here, but what we're going to do is we're going to make use of this application called Voloco to add a bit of auto-tune into this loop. All right, so Voloco is a free-ish app. It has like a paid subscription, yeah, and you can make some really, really sick auto-tune tunes, yeah. In this case, I want to do a bit of a hard auto-tune. It has some free effects, yeah. Usually on the first screen of this app, you get a bunch of pop-ups. If you're able to get to this screen, just select record audio. You don't need to actually record audio. This is what you see when you got this screen. Okay, so I need to find the root key of what I'm singing. Let's go back to the loop. You and I, you and I. Yeah, so this is kind of like a rough draft of what I'm working on. Da, 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 da. So we're doing it in the F sharp major. All right, now I gotta find the key. Where you wanna go, go. Where you wanna wanna go, 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 go. Technically, I could just put it on chromatic. Uh, faded control. Well, since I know the key I'm singing in. Faded. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, so to use Voloco on a project, what you want to do is you're going to tap on the 
headphone jack icon there on the top. Go to and tap audio, but do not select instrument. Go to effect this time. You want to use the AB filter. And that gives you the that gives you the auto to back to what we had back. All right, gotta reduce the gain because it's a bit loud. Reduce the impure. You don't want to be clipping. I should probably know what I'm doing now. Ha 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 ha. I faded, faded. See, I want to make sure that my highest pitch does not get to the red. I can tap on this here and I can skip a lot of this. Make sure you've got the right effect. Ha 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 ha. So without auto tune, with auto tune. Okay. I'm gonna keep recording my idea of this song, yeah, but I want it to be like an infinite loop. So track settings, recording, multi take on. Let's go. Metronome. Faded control. You and I, you and I, hey, faded control. You and I, you and I, hey, baby, control. You and I, you and I, and I call on you, and I will be, be right there for you. Da 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 and I call on you, and I will be, be right there for you. Every time you call on me, it's you, it's you. And everything you want to say, it's you that I need. It'd be like say you know, the things I've done, the things I am. And every time you tell me, do you mean what you say? Hey. Hold on the fire, lost in the sky, going all the way to the die. I can't say my mind, you know what's wrong, you know the world's a matter. It'd be like say the things that I know, you come me around all the way. I'll call on you, and I will be, be right there for you. Da 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 and I'll call on you And I will be Be right there for you What are the words, what are the words What are the words for me to tell me You know what's wrong Okay, so this is where we're going to use multi-take recording to compare the takes of the audio It's a great way to record multiple versions of the auto soon until you get the audio just perfect all right let's give it a listen you and i hey baby control you and i you and i and i call on you and i will be be right there for you baby come all right, so next step was to record a clean take, just to have something to compare the original with. I'm gonna make use of the Voloco feature, yeah? And without the auto tune, just putting it on noise reduction only. Let's go.
And I will be right there for you.